Okay, so here is the first of a little short series of Pro Tools tips and tricks. Um, first one is a uh, how to how to do a um, how to create a group track and um, route the audio from individual tracks to that group track. There's two different ways that you can do this. Um, here's your mixer. Uh, the first way you can do it is by creating a new track. This one will be a stereo aux input. Create that, we'll call this group one. And then we'll show our mix window. Um, and here's group one here. Now I can take audio six and seven and route those to group one. Let me go over here to audio six, and instead of output analog one, two, we're gonna output to track group one. Now, you can output to bus group one, two, it's the same thing, but bus doesn't necessarily guarantee that you've got the bus that you've created actually in your project. Track does guarantee that, so let's use track. You can always change it back by going to output one, two. I'll leave that there for now. So now we'll change uh, audio seven so that it gets outputted as well over to this group. Okay. Now there's another way we can do it. And the second way is to actually just grab the output, say, of uh, audio five here. We're going to grab the output and reroute it to a new track. It's now going to create a new aux input track. We'll call this group two. And here's group two. Audio uh, five is now routed to group two. And let's route analog four there too. So we go to the output of analog four, go to track, group two. Adding other tracks to this is the same way as we did it before over here. So now I've got tracks one, two, and three route, routed to analog output one and two, my stereo outputs. I've got four and five routed to group two. And I've got six and seven routed to group one. So those are my groups. My groups are always going to be routed to um, analog output one, two, for the most part. Although if you wanted to, you could theoretically uh, create a group within a group. You could route analog four and five to group two and have group two routed to a new track. We create a new track on group two, a new track on group two. Well, it looks like we're going there anyway. So this is now group three. And now I'm routed the output of group two to group three, which is now the main outputs. Um, not a lot of reasons why you do that, but there are sometimes like um, if you wanted to have your kick drum, if you had two mics on your kick drum, like an inside mic and an outside mic on your kick drum, and then um, the rest of your drum kit wanted to be in, a, in the drum group, you could have a subgroup of kick drums within your drum group. So. That's just something to know is that you can nest mul uh, multiple ones of these. Now, a lot of times it's important when you do these groups to really verify that you've got your, um, your delay compensation on in options. So verify that delay compensation's on, otherwise things start sounding phasey. Uh, so that's that. So then look at, let's go to our, look at our IO really quick. So for bus, we now have our new group one, two, and three. Notice that they are not routed to any output. Um, they're their own entity, I guess. I don't really understand why Pro Tools does this, but you don't route those to an output. These buses are separate and you tell them where you want them to go um, in the mix as opposed to where they automatically map. Um, so if you were to have created one and it was checked um, by default, you'd want to uncheck it like that. Um, so that's how you do it. And so that's the routing a group thing.